What's going on, everybody? This is AJ Capasso from Coventry Circle Paranormal. I'm here with my great friend. Robin from Hoffern Paranormal. And we are also joined by one of Rob Fern, uh, Robert Hoffern's uh, paranormal teammates, uh, Chris Jenkins Bar uh, Boyle. So please go ahead and introduce yourself. No, you got no voice, so I kind of... I got hardly any I'm voice. Just, uh, you know. I'm the skeptic of the group, I'm afraid. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> So we just want to make a couple of announcements. We just want to say uh, thank you to all of our sponsors. We want to give a shout out right now to Parapost Network Central on Facebook, where we are broadcasting live from the home of Paranormal Podcasts, live investigations, terror readings. I mean, you name it. If you are a fan of the paranormal, please head over on Facebook. Also visit parapost.net as well as check out the app on iOS and Android um, to come get involved. It's a great community. Um, and we're just, you know, building all amazing paranormal podcasts. So come get involved. If you have a podcast, please come on and join us. Um, we like to bring great people over, great teams over. Um, we also want to give a shout out to a couple of our sponsors and great friends. First one we want to give a shout out to is FCD Ghost Boxes in the UK. Um, they are creating, mm -hmm. Nigel Mortimer is creating some amazing, uh, you know, adjustable sweep radio boxes along with uh, a portal device. Um as well as having a built-in REM pod now in, in some of the systems. I mean, it just, what he's doing is absolutely amazing. Has some great builds. So go and check out FCD Ghost Boxes um, for some great prices. As well as we want to give a shout out to Global United Paranormal Foundation, um, all our friends over there. And we also want to give a shout out to their parent company, the Paratech Laboratories is also with and inside of Global United Paranormal. We can't wait for their launch and all their paranormal tech. Uh, we believe that some of the stuff that is coming out is going to be absolutely amazing that nobody has ever seen before. We want to also give a shout out to a great, great friend of ours, um, Brian J. Laverty of Hunophobia on Paraflix. Um, he is the leader, the man of the hour, everybody from Paraflix. Um, he, I mean, from uh, Parapost, he is an awesome person and such a great friend of ours. Super happy that we had to meet, that we got to meet him and I get to talk to him constantly. We want to give a shout out to our friends, PD Region Paranormal. You need to go on Facebook right now. Go to their, their pages, their social medias. Check out what they have coming up this year. Um, some of, uh, I heard of, the, of an event that's recently coming up as well as some amazing stuff that they're doing. We want to give a shout out to also Paranormal Consultant from Pennsylvania. Um, please head over there. They have a, a great podcast, the Paracrew Podcast. There's also Paranormal Consultant Matt Barron from there. I mean, he's just an incredible guy. So make sure you go check out their um, social medias and everything they're doing, as well as our friends from the Down Under, Night Watchers, Paranormal Australia. We want to give a shout out to Dan and everybody over there. Um, appreciate you guys. Hope you guys are well. We'll be talking to you tomorrow night. Can't wait. And uh, we want to also give a shout out to our newest sponsor, which is Ghost Energy. Um, it's a great company. It's healthy energy drinks with the most spookiest flavors that you can find. We got everything from Swedish fish, as you can see, to orange cream sickle, even down to Sour Patch Kids, which is absolutely the weirdest um, flavors that you can find. But I tell you what, great company. They're a very healthy company. They also do uh, pre-workout supplements, stuff like that. So you can find them in GNCs and health food stores. Um, so definitely make sure to go to their website at ghostenergy.com and, uh, you know, check them out. But today, Robin, you want to announce who we have, man? We have an amazing guest, a TV personality, um, and a just amazing personal in general. So please announce. We, 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 do, we do indeed. Before I do, uh, a quick shout out to the people who we had on at the weekend, AAP's Variety Channel. 100%. Massive, massive shout out to them. Big sponsor. Absolutely. Bring lots of people in. A uh, good friend of ours. So Absolutely. there you go. Uh, Richard Felix, uh, who basically you'll know him from, if you watch UK's Most Haunted. Uh, he was on it, uh, and he does a lot of tours around Derby and Derby Jail and stuff. He's a paranormal historian, great guy, and he knows anything. So, Absolutely. So let's bring him in. Hold on one second. Here we go. How are you doing? Hello, Richard. Yo, Richard. How, much, my friend? How are we doing? Good, good. So happy to have you on. A pleasure to be on. Absolutely. So good to hear that we know friends from over here together. I couldn't believe it. I think that's so cool. Yeah, it's incredible. Charles, Ro Charles Rosnay. Yeah, from Tom. Uh, oh, hey, are you? Got, you've, got a, you've got a fan already. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Irene, great for guy. watching. I'll let you know, Steve. I'm not sure yet. Go ahead. And uh, we have, yep, we have Irene. Um, like I said, greetings from Tokyo. Thank you so much for tuning in from Tokyo. We greatly appreciate you and World of Ghosts. Want to say hi to Julie and everybody there. 
Um, and we just want to thank everybody for who's watching right now. But uh, Richard, what I want to get to is, um, you know, I, I noticed that you um, obviously you love history. Um, it's one of the biggest things. I think that's amazing because I tell you what, growing up in school, I first hated history, but now being in this paranormal field, it's one I can't, I love going everywhere, museums, everything. It's one of my favorite, favorite things. So um, I wanted to ask you, like, uh, how did you get into the history side? Because I know we're going to talk a little bit about how you got into the paranormal side and how you kind of faced death yourself. But first, I want to ask you, like, how did you get into the paranormal uh, historian side? Yeah, well, I mean, basically, uh, it's a good question. You see, it's always been my passion in military history. Soldiers. I play, all I ever did as a kid was play soldiers. Uh, all I ever wanted to be was a soldier. Uh, um, but it was always military and the collected militaria um, all, all my life, basically. Um, and so, so that's where the history. Well, that's where the history bit started. Then um, I, I became chairman of, of Derby uh, Tourism Association in, in the centre of downtown Derby, Derby, as you guys would call it. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 and because of that, uh, I got into local history big time, um, obviously dealing in depth with the history of the city of Derby, which uh, that's not what we're about tonight. But, you know, they're, they're an incredible 2000 years of history. Um, then um, from that came um, w- what can we do to bring people into the centre of Derby, tourism wise, well, yeah. York do ghost walks. So I started a ghost walk uh, after I'd um, opened a heritage centre in an old Tudor grammar school that went back, well, th- hundreds of years, about 600 years. Um, and when I started doing the ghost walk, the first one I did, I thought was rubbish. I, I thought, I can't do yeah. this <laughs> unless, I believe, unless I believe it. Yeah, I, I can't do it. And some of the stories to me were just nonsense. Yeah. So <laughs> I spent another six months researching and, and realising that ghosts and history go together. Yeah. And, and to just tell a ghost story, a ghost story, a ghost story, a ghost story could become, in my opinion, after because these, these walks I was doing were three hours. Yeah. Uh, we did a couple of uh, haunted pubs on the way around and a candlelit supper at the end of it. Um, yeah. And, and so it really took at least sometimes three and a half hours. Um, yeah. And, and just talking, oh, there's a grey lady and there's a blue lady and there's a pink lady. God, yeah, you'd be bored off your mind at the end of it. So yeah. I realised that I needed, although I can't prove the ghost stories, if I can tie in the history with the ghost story, the whole damn thing becomes so much more fascinating uh, and provable. Yeah. Um and, and that, to be honest with you, where it came from. Um, then, obviously, when I got on to uh, Most Haunted on, on Series 1, they told me originally they were going to brand me as the country's leading paranormal investigator, which I'm not, and I never yeah. was. Um, and and um, when it actually came to, um, they, they sort of branded me actually as the historian. Um, which I, I mean, I left school at fifteen. You know, I I I haven't got any, I got I got some GCSEs, but other than that, I got no. I didn't go to university. I didn't do anything. Um, yeah. So yes, yes, I'm a local. I said a local historian, and I personally branded myself as a paranormal historian. Yeah, because the two go hand in glove. Absolutely, it's yeah. as simple as that. Um, yeah. You can't get closer to history than seeing the ghost of. Abraham Lincoln or, or Mary Queen of Scots or yep. or whoever, you know what I mean? Um, King William yeah. the, the Third, you know, and the Battle Absolutely. of the Boy. And, 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 it, 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 that's the big one. Um, and that's where I come in because, you know, the, tying the history with the ghost story, if you can, uh, makes it so much more fascinating. And valid, too, which is great. You know what I mean? Yeah, have- yeah valid, isn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. that's the whole point. You know? And I realised that at the end of at the end of my tours, my ghost, whatever, you know, I get people saying, "Well, God, I never realised that. I never knew that." You know, in other words, not 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 necessarily the ghost story, but the the actual history behind it yeah. is absolutely fascinating. 100%. And the two go together, and it also works with schools. Yeah, yeah. big time. I like it. Ghosts yeah, and history. Absolutely. Effectively, you're giving your own lesson, really, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, absolutely. 
Yeah. Uh, I always Absolutely. remember years years ago, I was doing a tour for uh, when I ran this heritage centre for school. And um, it was January, it was wet, it was raining. And although I have an ability, really, to hold people's attention, these kids, all I was getting really was, when's lunch? When, when, yeah, <laughs> is it lunchtime yet? And yeah. so we got to this particular pub. Mm. Uh, and it's the oldest pub in the centre of Derby, old timber frame building. And I'm standing outside, and all I said was, "Oh, by the way, there's a ghost." Uh, what? And I wasn't. This wasn't a ghost tour. This was a, a, a local history tour. And all of a sudden, the kids stopped asking about what, when's lunch. They were fascinated. They wanted to know more about the body snatchers that used to deliver the bodies into the cellar of this building. What? Wow. Wow. And, and and then. For the rest of the tour, all I was getting from them was, have you any more ghost stories? <laughs> and wow, you know, they forgot all about the rain, all about the cold, and all about lunch. Wow. It it it's got like that. It's wild. So, it's wild. Paranormal yeah. has attracted so many now. I mean, like if you think 10 years ago, right, Richard? It's like, it was, it was a little, you know, it was popular, but now it's like, it feels like it's just going through the roof now, like with all the people so interested in it. And oh, I think it's great. I think it's great because you add in this history fact to it. And, you know, you, when you're an investigator, a true investigator, you have to look yeah, into yeah. the history. And I think that's just amazing, you know? Yeah, and that's the big one. That's what I, and when, yep. you know, whenever I go and wherever I go or whatever I do, you know, in investigations, um, obviously TV wise, and everything, I spend a lot of time beforehand. Uh, not only beforehand, but while I'm actually, when I get to the venue, talking to the people that own it, run it, live in it, yeah, uh, and, and talking to them about, well, about the history of, of the place, yeah. so that I can try and work out myself who's haunting it and Absolutely. why they're haunting it. Exactly, yeah. yes. yes. And that's Absolutely. so so much more important. You know, what happened to them? Why are they still there? Is there a um, pattern that you have found from all of your studies, from all these different places? Is there something like a similarity or synchronicity that you yeah. maybe found with these hauntings? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah, very much so. I mean, one one of them is is, is a sort of a suicide thing. Okay. Quite a, quite a lot of uh, places that um, that you find that you know someone killed themselves in the building. Then there's a, you know, in other words, yeah, the you know, let's try and find out as I've just said why they are still there because they shouldn't be. Yes. So yeah. something has happened to them yeah. that's caused them still to be there. Yeah. Uh, unfinished business, murdered, no one found the murderer. Yeah. Uh, executed for a crime they didn't commit and they're still waiting for justice. And of course, another big one, actually, is is um, they loved it there and they yeah. stayed behind. Yeah. There's a lot of, awful lot of uh, that when you go to a... a, a, a a property, a house. Yeah. Uh, a, a, sorry, a private house. Yeah. Um. You know. The, the, well, what happened there? You know. That. Oh. Ah. Oh, well. You know. So and so committed suicide in the bed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or so and so was murdered in the bed. Yeah. Okay. So, or no. 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 We we think it's the the old the old lady that lived there fifty years ago or a hundred years ago that's not moved yeah. on. And and, and well, so why is she suddenly yeah. why is she suddenly started yeah. to get active? Ah oh, well, we've been doing some work in the house. Yeah. Aha! Well, she she doesn't like what you're doing. Why are you yeah. doing that in my? Why are you knocking my wall down in my bedroom? Because there's still exactly. kitchen, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're, yeah you're, a... you're, putting the, you're putting the kitchen yeah. and the dining room open plan. She doesn't want that. She doesn't. <clears throat> no, so right. Or the other one, um, um, a, pr a prime example. Only the, the other week with a, a place I was at, um, this guy um, had done some work on the house. Uh, he'd moved the staircase. It's a cottage, a very good 17th, 18th century cottage. He'd, he'd, he'd got on DIY. He'd move, he'd move the staircase from one part of, of, of the lounge area to another and bricked up one of the doorways. Yeah. Um, and lo and behold, uh, just finished the work and the, the two of them are sat there having uh, having their tea when they hear a cough of a, an old lady uh, and they look up and there's this lady in Victorian clothing with a clay pipe in her mouth, wow. walk past them without acknowledging them in any way, goes towards the wall and goes straight through the wall where he's ripped up the doorway. Building. Uh -huh. wow. And and they 
would lay in bed and hear footsteps coming up the stairs. That's correct. But not the stairs, not the stairs. That yeah, I'm going to say that. The Maybe from the stairs, stairs oh, aren't there on. anymore. Yeah. 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 Now, um, Bridget, I'm going to ask you this question because of just what you just said, right? You know how she was using those doorways and the, and the staircase that was no yeah. longer there. Do you think, just from just opinion wise, do you think that these these spirits, you think they're seeing the same layout as always, but yet when they know that there's a renovation going on, how come they're still do you yeah, exactly. think, using those doors? That's the wonder, yeah, so you know? In, yeah, I get that. I like it. In in other words, so you you she's upset because she sees her wall coming down. Yeah. Or the wallpaper coming off her bedroom or whatever. But she's going up the staircase that she's concerned about that they've knocked down. Or, yeah. And and mm -hmm. how can how can that be? How yeah, which is it? Yeah. <laughs> Does exactly. she see it? Is she as a time slip? Is she seeing it? She's yeah. obviously seeing as it was because yeah. she's going up the old stairs. Yeah. So, how does she know that you're knocking the wall down or moving the staircase? Or, or, or is that her making a point that she didn't want the staircase removed? So, she'll continue to walk up where it used to be. Possible. Yeah. yeah but how can right. she? I don't know. But how <laughs> can she make that? Yeah. Exactly. Because it's the footsteps they hear. Yeah, you're right. Which yeah. is a, a really interesting one. And yeah, don't know that one. <laughs> no, isn't that weird? But very valid point. Very valid point. Mm. Um, it, it may not be, may not be that she's, this, she, that she's upset because, you know, like you said, she doesn't know that yeah. the staircase has been moved. So why yeah. does she suddenly start to to appear or do things after they da da damage the house? Or is it is it more because I'm a huge believer in in what I call the stone tape theory? Yes, me too. where where um, where you you know in um and there's a possibility and then so in other words the demolition of the wall or whatever it happens to be is similar to knocking your old-fashioned cassette recorder on the floor sometimes it goes off yeah. could the disturbance in the building cause a replay to take place that wasn't happening but i don't know there's two oh, there's so I, much more to, oh, yeah you, so many theories in this in this paranormal field but i tell you what it's it's great that you know we think about this type of stuff because it's it, you wonder you know how could they be getting mad and but still walking yeah. up the city okay you know, and I wonder if that has something to do with the way our consciousness is when we leave this body. If it's on sometimes replay, like you said, and that residual energy coming yeah. from the from the wood and everything that's around. It's it's amazing theories. You know, I mean, too bad we aren't going to know until no. And there isn't enough uh, debate and discussion on on, on this. Shall I tell you why? Because basically, it's all about scare factor. Yep, you're absolutely mm. right. Well, I've been that's, seeing that's all it is. Yeah, uh, that's all. That's what. But that's what people love. You're right. You're right. And that's it what is. all the programs are about. Yeah. Scare factor. Yeah. All of it. Everybody. You know. And the fact you know, it really gets me. Um, uh, you know, and, and us included on Most Haunted, just the same as everybody else. Anything happens, everybody runs off. Everybody yep. screams. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, you know, I mean, yeah, but do you know something? Do you know, do you know something, right? I, I'm, I'm going to let Chris take this over. Go ahead. You're the opposite. No. But Most yeah. Haunted... Oh, yeah. As soon as it gets to a good part on come the adverts, the cameras go off. Oh, tell Why? me about it. I mean, I got, but it's, again, to... it's all scare factor. Screaming, yeah, but... <clears throat> running, fainting. If it's real. You've got to keep the camera running. Yeah, of course you have. Because, you see, the thing that gets me is that we're there ghost hunting. Yeah, we want exactly. something to happen. And you every time to a break. Goes, everybody runs away. <laughs> <laughs> and three, yeah. so frightened, including all of them, including Ghost Adventures. They're all the same. Yeah, big yeah, guys absolutely. In black, black, dressed in black. And as soon as something happens, they're so frightened, they're so scared. It's a bit like, a bit like going fishing and being frightened of fish, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're oh my right. God, I've got a fish. Oh, I hate them. I don't like fish. <laughs> <laughs> it really winds me up. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. So, so see. I was just going to say, Richard. Whenever, whenever you uh, first went on Most Haunted, mm. then were, were you were you supposed to be 
uh, just in the studio all the time, or were you on there to go out on location as well? Well, fr from on the lives, you see, the very first live uh, at Dudley Castle, um, I, I was, as far as I knew, I because they, they told me they were going to brand me as, as the country's leading paranormal investigator. Well, you know, I, I wasn't. I did ghost walks and tours and blah, 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 blah that sort of stuff. Uh, and I turned up expecting to be a paranormal investigator with me, with me dousing crit rods and me, me crystal <laughs> and, me, and, and me EMF meter. And, and, and I was told, no, 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 I'm sorry, you're in the tent, you're in the marquee, that you're, a, you're an expert. Am I? <laughs> Oh, okay, thank you very much. Um, and so, so I, I, I was ushered into the uh, on the sofa in in the studio with with Matthew Smith, Doctor Matthew Smith, the, you know the um, the skeptic yeah. uh, again. Uh, the two of us, uh, and that's how the first. And then from then on, I was branded as the historian. But on every every pro program, every series, you know, unless uh, except live. I was out in the field with the, with the crew, as, yeah. as a historian. Um, but sometimes it, it varied. Sometimes I'd be sat with monitors, in in, in like in, in the studio, not the studio, but in in, in one of the rooms. Uh, and but usually out with the crew investigating the same as them. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then again on some <clears throat> of the lives, I, I went then went out. Sometimes I was in the studio. Sometimes I was out. Um, Again, investigating with them. Yeah. So it, it varies, yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah, but there's one clip, Go on. one, one clip that I want to mention to you that I'll never forget was uh, I was watching it. You were out on location with them, and I can't remember where you were, but you were you were in a, an old building. You were in a basement, and I think it was you, and it might have been David Wells sat at a table trying to get it to move, and all of a sudden it shot towards you. Oh God, that was no. I'll tell you what, it was it was um, Boddle Widden Castle in Wales, and it was me, Carl, and Stuart in the cellar, and it was a metal table, <clears throat> and I've had more more success with metal tables than anything, and yeah. um, it, it, it's incredible because it shot across at me. I mean that would frighten anybody. <laughs> it did yeah. me, I'll tell you. Uh, uh, but yeah. it, the th silly part about them is it happened twice. I wouldn't be expecting it then. And they only put it on once. <laughs> uh, but but basically, um, there was you can see the camp for once. You could actually see where everybody's legs were. Or not you know, there's no there's no possible way that they could have shot that table like they did across at me. That really was. But it happened twice. Um, yeah, I remember watching that. It was that instant, was wasn't it? Belter. That was really, and that was that was a, a good one. And then the other one, I actually first only time in my life I've actually had a table rise off the floor. Wow! And it happened at in in a place called Taunton Taunton Castle in Somerset. Oh. Uh, and funnily enough, that was a metal table. Fold up, fold up. Obviously, yeah, lots of energy. Yeah, I was going to say. I'm it. wondering. Yeah, if yeah. you think about it, right, metal is a great conductor for energy. Oh God, like, yeah. So I'm wondering with that energy, you know, especially how we measure EMF and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm that obviously is the reason, you know, having all that energy with your guys' energy there, along with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you see, that's the whole uh, crux of the matter. Funnily enough, I, I'm fascinated by that uh, the advert, not the advert, at the beginning, ghost energy. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, because I want some of that. Because yeah. I, I, I want to change the name. You see, from ghost to Absolutely. energy. I like it. I like because it. I that's think... what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a word that we use mm -hmm. that means to be frightened of. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Oh yeah, that's what yeah. it is. Um, it, it, it's 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 about four thousand years old, and it was. Uh, I won't go into it, but it, it was basically. Uh, uh, a, a, pro a proto Indo European word uh, we, called like, Goist, G H O I D Z, and it meant to be frightened of. And wow. from that came, well, guess what? The word, the, the old English word, ghast. G H A S. Have you ever been aghast at something? No, I haven't. Yeah. Something ghastly. Yeah. It's frightening. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's, wow. we, we label anything that we don't understand as a ghost. 
-hmm. But it's an energy. That's yeah. the whole thing. That's what ghosts are. And that's what we are. Energy. Yeah. Down the I think we're learning new things every day here. Yeah. And you cannot destroy energy. First law of thermodynamics. You yeah. can either create or destroy. And that means that energy that's you. And by the way, I'm talking about the inward. Not, I'm not talking about the, the vessel that held the energy. Yeah. I'm talking about the energy within you, your mind, your, your consciousness, your ego, your yeah. soul, your call it what you want. You, mm -hmm. yeah. that energy is unique to you. Uh, and it can't be destroyed. No. And there's no. only one you on this planet. There may be doppelgangers. There may be people that look like you, but there's only one inner you on this on in the universe. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that energy that is you can't be destroyed. So some in some form it has to go on. Don't Absolutely. ask me how or where, but, but it has to go on, and that's the word that we should be using. Well, and no, not really. You know, it, I, I don't think if I advertised an energy walk, people would come on it. No, yeah, right. <laughs> I, 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 you know, it's just like I would know. <laughs> normal shows nowadays, especially all around, all you're seeing is demon portal to hell. Oh, like, tell me about it. You know, what I mean? and it's like, and I understand because it's a marketing. Mm -hmm. But it in is. reality, there's so much more to than the negative to the field. I know that. I know. I know. I know. Uh, and all the paranormal groups are full of terror. And sorry, Charles, but you know, terror and fright nights and day you come on a go to walk with us and a tour with us and and every ghost program. I don't care what. Yeah. They're all running away. They're all frightened. It's all the demons that are going to get you later. And it's just rubbish. To get your attention, isn't it? Yeah, but it's, when I say sorry, it isn't rubbish because it entertains people. You're yeah. right. But and it, it creates an interest. Yeah, that's yeah. what I say. It's and, like a and so, to people. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and, that, and so I, I can't criticise them for it because Joe mm -hmm. Public loves it. Yeah. In the same way as when you go to um, uh, a theme park. Mm -hmm. you, you you go on the scariest one there is. Yeah. Absolutely. Because you yeah. want to end up with your stomach in your mouth. <clears throat> uh, and not only that, but the scariest ride there will have the biggest, brightest lights around that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And, and so so I cannot criticise TV companies for creating uh, <clears throat> yep. ghost programmes that are scary. Um, yeah. And I cannot criticise, I cannot criticise uh, paranormal groups that, that advertise themselves for people to come along for a for, for a fright night mm. dare you come up because joe public loves it that's what people want to it. It. they want to be scared they want to be scared they, yeah. they of course they do why not well don't we all mm. but there's room for a real ghost program yeah definitely. Energy program definitely. Yeah, no, it's, it's never happened no it's you're desperate. right it's because of that marketing aspect i don't think if someone actually watched a regular you know paranormal investigation because i mean you know, they huh. cut out all the boring stuff and they leave yeah, just the yeah, yeah. Yeah. And It's like, you're really going to watch a seven-hour thing of yep. basically just Watching everyone. paint dry yeah. for five and a half hours. You're I know. Right. They wouldn't watch. But, you're right. but there's room for a documentary-type program. Absolutely. That not, 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 not um, how can I put this? Not, as you've just said, sitting for seven hours on an investigation. No, no, no. They're, they're, they're done. They're fine. Investigations are great. And if something yeah. happens, because things will happen. Absolutely. And people will jump. And people, yeah. you know, which is fine. I'll have to make people jump at home. But there's room for a real um, documentary type program that explains to people yeah. what ghosts might be. I can't yeah. say what ghosts are because there ain't well, no proof of course, that ghosts of course. exist, actually. I know. There is I know. No proof. You know, no, I, yeah. I've seen a ghost. I've heard a ghost. I've traveled with it. I can't prove it. Yeah, unfortunately, I that's the world about it, but but yeah. I can't prove it. Yeah, I get um, it. I'm full body, solid apparition, stand in front of my entire family, which they were all skeptics. I mean, you, you know, most a lot of heavy, heavy Christian people, but we saw it solidly appear in our dining room for like up to a minute, and it literally wow. just appeared in front of us. I mean, shocked us all. I mean, I mean, I thought I was crazy beforehand until I saw it, and that's what got me into this paranormal field. Yeah. yeah. Death experience and started having these weird um things start happening to me, which led to that all experience. But yeah. I tell you what, you're right. You know what? No matter what we do, you know, it's like we can't have that one moment where we're ready and we got nope, that. Nope, 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 nope. And you know, if you took a photograph, people wouldn't believe it. You're, that's what I was about to say. Even, it's a fake. 
to believe it. <laughs> there is no, and all of your family that saw it, <clears throat> you you know you saw it. They yeah, know they saw absolutely. it, but nobody yeah. will believe it. Well, sorry, that's not quite true. Nobody will be sure that that exactly. that that's what you saw. Exactly. Uh, yeah, there is, you can't <clears throat> you can't prove it. And I tell you what, I do find fascinating. And it, forgive me for this, but basically, if, if you've got a guy that obviously we're talking to uh, lots of people and some in America that, that happened to be in Walmart and, and he, he uh, somebody uh, another guy saw him steal two jumpers two 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 pullovers two sweaters yeah yeah uh, and he goes up to the security guy and tells him and as the bloke's leaving the shop the security guy nab, gab, grabs him takes him off the, the cops come uh, arrest him and before you know it he's in court right <laughs> and the guy that saw him steal those two sweaters is a, is a witness. Yep. And he comes to court and he puts his hand on a book that's been written 600 years after the event yep. <laughs> and says, I swear by my imaginary God yep. that the, I the tr tell the truth, the whole truth. And, nothing and, and he says, I saw that guy steal those jumpers. And guess what? All those 12 people in the jury, the judge and the whole of the people in the jury believe him. Yep. But if I say yep. to you, I saw a ghost at 20 past three on a Friday afternoon in Derby Jail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah How much did you have to drink? Yeah, you're Were you not... overtired? <laughs> you're right. You're for the same hymn sheet, guys. You're right. No, you're absolutely right. And people think of this, you know, this is a very, like, just regular thing to think about, but we don't think about that. And you're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. You know, there's it's a prove of any of the stuff that we do. I mean, even when people, like, you know, I'm a Christian, stuff like that. I grew up as a Christian, but I've okay. Played, different religions but the thing is though is i'm with you on that you know we don't technically know we can't say 100 percent proof just because some person thousands of years ago wrote a couple <laughs> of things and done yeah. over, over and over you know what i mean and all those times back in the day those church leaders and stuff like that they wanted it to be manipulated to their benefit so how do we know yeah. that that's yeah. truly what they were saying you no, know no, so no, no. i get it but I, we, I totally but we believe it we, we right. kill, slaughter, maim, right. torture in the name of something that nobody's You're ever right. seen. You're right. But you tell them you've seen a ghost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no <laughs> way. The man's <laughs> backers. The man's mother. You're a nut job. Yeah. Last yeah. week a call. They get called a nut job over here. Yes, yeah, nut job. They're right over here too i mean i i was so scared to share my experiences even with my family at first you know yeah and it's yeah. like you know when i started having to happen and i started being able to show you know spirit communication things that's why i like to focus on spirit communication now instead of just yeah. the entire thing i like to focus on using different um you know different devices to actually hear them you know come through and manipulate these frequencies and stuff like yeah. that yeah. because you know when you get like a certain swear word or certain like that you know it's not going to be on these radio frequencies of course not, you know, so I want to get those type of evidence or something relevant that can be said back so people can hear it, see it, whatever they need to do yeah, to understand yeah, that yeah. something is real. Because that's the only way people will really actually kind of believe, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is kind of bad. Yeah, yeah. You know? You're right. You're right. Yeah. Fascinating I subject. I, I tell you something else, Richard, which is like that. It's like, it's like UFOs. If someone says, oh, I've seen a big disc in the sky, all these lights. People go, nah, you didn't. No, no you didn't. No, I know that. It's so right. Yeah, how, and again, at, same thing. How but about the, see, school, go the school? So they had a UFO land at the schoolyard. These kids saw this. They interacted telepathically with it, but yet it's like, oh no, sorry, forget about no, it. No, it didn't happen. Mistaken, you know I mean? overtired, making yeah. it up. Yeah, yeah. same yeah. old story all the time. Yeah, and, and I just find it incredible that we're yeah, you know, but in the twenty first century. Uh, yeah. uh, but no, ghosts don't exist. No such thing. But it, to me, I hate to say it, but it's almost becoming it's becoming a new religion, the yeah. paranormal side of things. Spiritualism, call it what you will. Um, because as the church loses its grip, I think that's the way of putting it. Absolutely. People still want an answer. People still want to believe You're right. that there is something else. Yeah. And it's yeah. growing. Uh on a on a vast scale now that you know people's belief i suppose in in an afterlife yeah. but that's no yeah, different definitely. to what the church has been saying you're right yeah. they're right and the thing about it, guys the, the thing yeah. is real as well richard is i remember uh having some jehovah's witnesses come to my door right yeah. and 
the, the obviously the knock your door and they want to come in and tell you their scriptures and all this. Yeah. And yeah. I actually said to them, if you can answer my question, I'll actually give them three questions. It says, if you can answer any of these three, you can come in and talk to me. And one of them was, I said to them, if you say that there's no such thing as an afterlife, that there's no such thing as ghosts and spirits and stuff, I says, how come if I was to bring you in here, get a table that has numbers and letters around it, put a glass in the middle and say, put your finger on that, you wouldn't do it. They couldn't answer it. <laughs> Oh, no. right. That's you know, so right, isn't it? Yeah, you're, you're absolutely yeah, right. Again, okay. we're talking of the same same thing because at the end of the day, we're yep. talking of people that die and come back. Yeah, they're talking of a guy that was executed, <laughs> crucified, buried, and okay. three days later, whoopee, he came back again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the difference? So, is the resurrection the first ghost story? That's what. Yeah, yeah it must be. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry, you know, I, I'm fascinated. It's incredible. <laughs> no, yeah. no, Richard, listen, on this podcast, you talk whatever you want about. I'm all about every single belief known to man, so I don't judge nobody, so please. No, 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 no. no. My friend, I totally I agree with you 100%. Don't yeah. feel confidence. Yeah. It, it, it's amazing. Amazing. Absolutely. This 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 needs to be talked about. This does. Oh, it does. Of course it does. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not being <clears throat> blind to think- the sun. Yeah, we, we've been we've been waiting, AJ, haven't we? We've been waiting for a podcast that gets right into the nitty gritty of it, haven't we? Yeah, you're absolutely. That's me, right. Mr. Nitty Gritty. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the thing is, Richard, you know these podcasts that we have, and you have these different guests on, and we've been lucky enough to have some great guests, yeah. obviously yeah. including yourself. But it's it's you know it's about their paranormal experiences, you know, oh. and what they believe. But to get someone like yourself on with that knowledge is going to is going to question them things. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? People don't go as far as to question some of that stuff. No, I know they that. Just say, they just say, no, no, we don't believe in it, or, or yes, we do. But, and that's as yeah. far as it goes. Yeah. You need someone to, to get it. right into it. Yeah, and, and that's I've, I have, like as I said, a, a very inquisitive mind. I, I, I'm skept- Best one to have. I'm terribly sceptical. Very sceptical about about an awful lot of it. But but over 30 years of doing this, um, I have spoken to so many I mean, I, I mean, the, the amount of... You see, when I do a ghost walk, uh, yeah. it, it's not like a, a tourist-type ghost walk that's, you know, sort of... Sort of I, 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 I don't dress up in, in a top hat and a ring a bell. And I, 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 I'm me, you know. <laughs> And, and they get the whole and people talk to me all the time, and they yeah. give me their accounts at the end mm-hmm. or during or whenever. And and over thirty years of this, I've spoken to thousands and thousands and thousands of people that yeah. have seen, heard, sensed, felt, smelt ghosts. Uh, for want to keep keep calling ghosts, um, and and there's too many of them. For it not to be real, mm-hmm. yeah, There's exactly. No doubt uh, in my mind uh, You're right. that, 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 that there's something in it because I, I've just you know, and the the accounts I get, I call them accounts, not go, not stories, by the way. Accounts yeah. is the diff- this is different. The accounts I get are so similar, but these people have never met. They're from different ages, different countries, different parts of the country. Never, of course, they've never met. And their accounts are are the same, or almost the same. But yeah, they're absolutely. not. They're talking about somebody else in a different place, in a different house, in a different, you know. But honest to God, it, 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 that's why I know it's real. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's lovely to know that because it is very nice to know. AJ, that the, read that question out. That's a good uh, one. Not, not even really a question. I mean, it's kind of a question, yeah, but it's kind of a statement too. I mean, with the, he goes, Carl Hutchins says, Richard, he goes, uh, with the church, it, God Almighty, yet we have through history. Oh, so Carl. Many, hello, Carl. Uh, so <laughs> many gods. So who is this Almighty? And you know what? He's actually truly right. I mean, I, like I said, I, I'm, I'm, I was born a Christian, raised a Christian, all stuff. But I've studied multiple religions. And I have a lot of Christian friends who will say, they'll be like, well, you know what? If you don't worship this religion, then that's it. You're going to hell. It's not oh, the truth. No, no. Or I'll kill you. God. Yeah, because or the, you, yeah, or the, you, yeah. you 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 worship a different you, you know you, my Santa Claus has got a green coat yours has got a red one yeah <laughs> well, and, how, you. 
that would be justified. Must be Harry. Yeah. yeah. Or an orange one or a green one. Yeah. I'm the first to admit that. I mean, as, as a person who, who was growing up in Christianity, I'm the first one to say that now. You know, like, I've studied all these different religions. Who are we to say that we're right and everyone else is wrong? No, no, no. I know. Isn't it you're frightening? Right. You don't know. You know, you're right. You're absolutely yeah. right. And yeah, I'm absolutely. Totally... Right. And, and again, I mean, th th tell you what, the, there has to be, well, no, you see, here I go. You see, my, my thoughts are, you know, was God a spaceman? You're right. Yeah. Uh, because, because, yeah. <laughs> I, you, you know, I mean, Captain Cook, right, when he landed in, I don't know where, Tahiti or whatever, you know, with this big thing that, that floated on the water with big sails. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he, he, they landed and, and they got these things called, well, bang sticks that they pointed at it. So when he went bang, the person fell down dead. And he was a god for a period yeah. of time until it turned to get a bit like Jesus in a way because they, they killed him. But you know, they killed Captain yeah. Cook in the end. But he was yeah. a god to the natives of whatever country it was. Now, yeah. my thoughts are, you know, <laughs> this big bright light in the sky that, that, that hovered and, oh, come on, guys, and came down. And, and, and these, these guys that, yeah, we well, see the only way anybody could fly 2,000 years ago was by having wings. Not, yeah. not a rocket booster or anything right. like that. So, you know, yeah. they, they had to have wings. And, you know, that sort of thing around the head, you know, was, was that a glass bubble? Uh, you know, that was, uh, a, yeah. come on. Yeah. <laughs> come on. I understand. You know, I, I actually, I, I totally agree with that too. I mean, you have to think about it too. Like, look at all these old civilizations, Sumerian, I mean, all these different people. They have all these accounts, Egyptians. They have all these hieroglyphs. Yep. With yeah. these, these, what we would call spaceships now or planes or whatever. But what? Do, what what were they seeing, you know? And they use symbolism a lot of those times, right? So, what what would you say from you what you've learned through the history and stuff like that, Richard? What what, what would yeah, you say? Again, I'm I'm a huge believer that. Oh, again, here we go. Are, are we really so self centered and bigoted as to believe that we on this earth are the only planet within infinity that yeah. has life on it? Yeah. No, Who definitely told not. Us that, by the way, who yeah. told us that? Exactly. Who, exactly. Yeah. Who tortured Galileo and kept him under house arrest for the rest of his life because he came up with this nonsensical idea that the earth, that the sun revolved around the earth? Yes. Yep. I was just yep. actually watching, I was watching a documentary today about all of that. And I was saying how we first believed that. Then we believed, uh, you know, what was it? The other, or the sun, we revolved around yep. the sun. Or no, hey, we hey, revolved. Else. Yeah, we were the center. I mean, there were just so many things that we've learned. So so much we haven't learned yet, but yet we still make this justification of, well, this is it, you know, and yeah, no. we don't know, you know, and scientists yeah, don't because know. There's so much we're, we don't we're, know. we're a galaxy, right? And they're saying that there's millions of other galaxies out there. Really? Yeah. And we have one planet in this galaxy that has human life. So what's to say that these millions of other galaxies all have one planet as well that has human life? Yeah. Who knows? Or some kind of like beyond, beyond, what's beyond the beyond? Exactly. exactly. And, and through a black hole and keep going and beyond infinity. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite frightening. frightening when you think about what, what could be out there. But then again, the other yeah. one is, you see, like the ghost business, don't be frightened. Why should we be frightened of aliens? You're right. How why do we should... know why? And it's, it's Hollywood. Yes, well, it is. World of worlds. So you see, if yep. a, land, a spaceship landed, we'd do, we'd, we'd nuke it. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Straight away, they wouldn't know. They wouldn't wait to see. But you know, what, how do we know they're hostiles? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Because of You're Hollywood. Right. Yes. Yes. It's a. It's crazy how our media can shape our beliefs, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, so much so. And the same. But it's the same with the. It's the same with getting back. It's the same with the paranormal because the media. Will be the first ones to advertise this new, you know, horror film or this new paranormal series coming out. But then someone yeah. comes out and says, "Yeah, well, I seen the ghost. Nah, no, you didn't." No, 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 no. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. I love you it. Also, I love it. But you know what's also fascinating is that they also talk about, you know, about not about just about energy, but our law of vibration. Everything is moving. You know, so yeah, it's like between the law of vibration and the law of energy, it's like 
how can we sit here and just like, you know, just think of one little thing. There's so much that we don't know about this field, but still it's like, if you, I think if science actually took the minute to see what we've already learned, we can put some, some kind of explanation into this field. Yeah. I truly believe, but yeah. we're still obviously going to ways away of probably what the real truth of the whole matter is. But I think we need to look at it in this, you know, sign of simplest form like this and see what we already know. Cause I believe oh, yeah. you hand you these knowledges like that, you know? Yeah, you're so right. You see, and, and the problem is, science, you see, science, they don't, they don't do ghosts. Yeah, you're right. Well, you're, that's the problem. That's there's no, there's yeah. no proof, you see. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, and so science doesn't really, you know, I get ridiculed by, by, by people, you know, with letters after their names. Um, you're right. Tell me there's no such thing as ghosts. Uh, and all I quote to them is, uh, next time someone quotes to you, that there's no such thing as ghosts. Um, just quote to them that for the last 400 years, men with letters after their names, astronomers, have peered into the night sky through their telescopes looking at ghosts. Because right. by the time the image of that dead star travels yes. millions of light years to the end of his telescope, he's actually yep. looking at something that no longer exists. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Isn't that the thing as ghosts, are they? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> how, about, how, how about we just observed, a scientist just observed that a, a planet was getting sucked in by a black hole and ripped apart, but it happened 317 like million oh. light years away. That means it's, it's already happened 317 ghost. years ago. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's like, a ghost. Yeah, it's, you're right. Yeah. 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 Or at yeah. times, was that one? It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a ghost it, because it's no it's longer there. You're exactly, right. and, time, and time's infinite, so it yeah. it'll happen whether it's before or after, anyway. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And you know what? As human beings, we have to label stuff to make us justified and feel better. And I think that's why I we are have certain names. That's so right. That is, yeah. And we shouldn't. We shouldn't. There's, there's uh, I, I don't know. There's, there's there's room. I've never done it, but I'd love, and I don't know why I haven't. But I need to create something called the Great Paranormal Debate. Mm. I like yes, where we have uh, it on an international scale, pro probably internet-wise based. I, would I think. Say, I say we make it happen. I would love to be a part of it with you. I would yeah. love to do that. that uh, absolutely. I really think it would. Uh, it could be become quite heated. It could become <laughs> quite controversial. <laughs> but but this is what is needed. Um, absolutely. But but the first thing you've got to get away from is the scary stuff. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yep. And that's and the thing is, I, you know, paranormal, right? Paranormal used to be a word that size. Yeah. Now it's that size because there's so many different subcategories. Yeah, you know what I mean? It. There's there there's so much to talk about in it. You know, you go into yeah. like I say UFOs. You go into biblical times. You go into yeah. you know. You, you could go on forever about it and still not cover it all. Right. Well, but what does what does that word paranormal mean? Well, para, Latin for, for running alongside. So in yeah. other words, it's something running alongside the normal. Yeah. Paranormal. That's all it yeah. is. Oh. Yeah. It's, yeah, so it's, like, it's like us living and them who, are, who have passed still living alongside of us. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. What about supernatural? Well, it's actually natural, but it's just a bit super, you know. <laughs> right, yeah, that's all. Not scary. Supernatural. Oh, God, the supernatural. Oh, the paranormal. Yeah, scary, scary, scary. No, it's not. Ghosts are not there to get you. You're right. They were you and me. Well, you know what I've learned? To, like, for, I, We went to, me and a buddy of mine, we recently rented out the old Montana State Prison last year around May. 10, wow. And... But I was, it was just me and him, the entire comp. And I tell you what, most amazing experience, lights off, night vision was great. But all these spirits, they weren't, they, we heard so much negative stuff, right? And I, I went into the devil worship sale, did everything they told me not to do and, you know, sit all this stuff. But nothing happened, obviously. But the thing was, is that a lot of these spirits, I feel that they're, some of them are trapped in these places and they get sick and tired of these people coming in, poking and prodding and do, do that. So why yeah. do you think you get scrapped? You know, why do you yeah. think you get this anger yeah. from yeah. them? You know? Like, so you can't look at them like, oh, it's a demon. Because it's not. It's these people. If you or me were stuck somewhere, person. nobody can hear us. Yeah. We're going to get pissed, you know? Yeah. 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 But, I mean, don't get me wrong. We we know when it was a evil spirits, that's a silly word. But basically, we do. We know that if you were if you were evil 
if you're an evil person in your lifetime, when yeah. you pass over, that will go with you. Your ego goes with you, your yeah. personality. So they will still be, you know, don't think for one minute that Hitler is now wandering around picking daffodils. No. <laughs> he, is, you know, um, he is what he was. He was what he is or is what he was, you know, and always will be. So there is evil. Mm -hmm. We know there's evil, but it's not demonic evil. There's no such thing as demons. Anyway, that's another thing cre created by the church. Thank you. I, I believe the same thing. I believe the yeah. same. After all the work that I've been doing the past <clears throat> decade, I'm like, you know what? It's something that we personally make up and we, you know, yeah. touch upon. It's that scariness. It's that adrenaline rush we like, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. right. And it's like, it's like these programs as well, when they're trying to get more viewers and stuff. So they'll go in somewhere, like you said, Richard, they'll go in somewhere. Someone that, Someone in this room of this house, for instance, has been trapped there for hundreds of years, yep, right? Yep, yep. And they go in there, and they're going, "Yeah, well, is that the best you can do? Come on, then oh. hit me." Well, the person's going to, the person's going to say, "Do you know what? I'm not having this." <laughs> yes, right. You're so right again. You know, respect is the other word that has to be used. In yeah, the I, I sometimes forget, but Chris reminds me of always saying please and thank you after everything. <laughs> Never mind swearing at them and effing and blinding at them. And, oh, come on. You know, that's what most haunted started doing, mm -hmm. of course. You know, it's just pathetic. But uh, never mind. Oh. But, it, you know, it, it, the show was good and everyone loved it. And, no, and but you know what? For you to be able to, you share, got respect. For you to be able to share your opinion like that and their honest opinion, I respect that. Because even though you were a part of it, you, you've seen what you didn't like in the parts of the paranormal that need to go. And I yes. think you're right. I think we do need to have a, 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 either a documentary film or something along those lines. Yes. That is more along the real lines. I mean, hey, it may not be super entertaining all the time, but I, you know what? We have to go and we have to, one, get away from all these labels that we create ourselves. Not yeah. only been around for thousands of years, but not only that, we also have to, like, learn to go and that we're dealing with people like you and me. Show yeah. respect. Show love. You know, like, if someone is trapped, that means they're stuck in that whatever they need help. cycle, you know? I yeah. mean, they need help. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I totally agree that we should come in with respect. You're absolutely right. That's I mean, the word respect. It's gonna attack yeah. you. you know, they you were human them. once. Yeah, and, and yeah. They, yeah. they should command the same respect exactly. as we would give to any other human being. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them still think they are. They still think they are human. Yeah, they were, and they, yeah. they think they are. Some of them, you know, haven't moved on for whatever reason. Exactly. Still think they're living on this plane and they're going like the old yeah. lady that walked through. If the, someone the, speaks to thing. you, you yeah. want respect. You want respect. to be spoken to the way, or well, yeah. you speak yeah. the yeah, way exactly. that you want to speak to you. Yeah. And so, so you, you mm -hmm. trying to get a response from anybody by, by being rude to them, just don't get you. are not going to get anywhere, are you? Well, you turn You're... around and walk away because I would. Of course you would. I would. Yeah. <laughs> I just or smack him in the mouth, you know. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's what normally happens, back. and then it turns yeah. into a demon yeah. fest. You're right, absolutely. Yeah, it's yeah. true. But, uh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, I mean, yeah it, it, it is. It is true in a way. You know, it's 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 fascinating in that way because you're going to get more. To me, you're going to get more activity than the nicer you are to these people. If you go into a little old farmhouse, mm -hmm. you find at the side of the road, and we have done. Yeah. And, and, you know, you go in there and you're like, oh, you know, this farmhouse is, all oh, this stuff's a load of shit land here and all this kind of, and, you know, yeah. and then and then you start, you know, oh, yeah, there's nothing happening in here. You haven't got the guts and stuff, you know, and things, you know, you're going to, you're going to get activity. You're going to, you're going to get views. Yeah. You, you know, but you're not going to get it for the right reason. No, you know, no, if, you're going to say, no. if you're here, could you please, if possible, move a chair or. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. I always start, always start with when I'm doing a be it a seance or a, whatever I'm doing. I, the, or the first thing I say is good evening, spirits. I'd introduce yeah. myself mm -hmm. and Absolutely. the group around the table to yeah. tell yeah. Them, you know, he's Fred, he's John. You know, introduce yourselves. Good evening. How are you doing? You know, we only come here in respect for you. Mm -hmm. uh, we have no fear for you, and I hope you have no fear for us from yeah. us. And and yeah, respect, guys. Yeah. That, that's exactly. what what it's all about. But just what you'd uh, expect. They, you'd expect to be respected. Of course, I would. So, yeah. so and so so should it's they. Just the same. Yeah, <clears throat> it's an interesting one though. I've always I've come up with this one recently. What do ghosts do all day? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Exactly. <laughs> what do they do when they're not telling you to get out or effing, <laughs> or effing and blinding at you or throwing something? <laughs> <laughs> what do they do the rest of the... What, you know when we're not, when we're not there? You know? Yeah. <laughs> In a haunted right. location, asking them to do this, 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 and this. Will you do this? What, what actually do they do for the rest of eternity? <laughs> yep, you're right. You're absolutely right. Gina just said, listen to Richard, you know, and she said that, you know, up above over here, she said, spirits must get fed up uh, with us asking questions all the time. And I, I truly agree. You know, I mean, yeah. think about it. If, if you're in your space, you know, we, we don't really truly understand consciousness. But if you think about it, that energy, wherever we whatever we truly are down to the cellular level that leaves this body, yeah. that's so intelligent that, that this energy, it's like we don't truly understand. So how could we just say, like, you know, you know, that they go somewhere else or what are they doing all day? Like you said, you know, they could do be they right take in their own <laughs> thing. You know? Do they have, do, you know, do they get out of the local at, 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 yeah. at eight o'clock at night? Or do they have meals? I, oh boy, I don't know. Sorry. Sorry. Man. <laughs> See, the, the thing as well is, right. Do you not also think if like, I'll, I'll use the example again, if you go back into one of these little old farmhouses, yeah. right. And there's been, 150 paranormal investigators are before you and you walk into one room and all there is is a table and a chair and the sit someone sits at the ch on the chair and says can you please move the table maybe they're thinking to themselves i've done this 150 times i'm not doing it again <laughs> so, maybe, so maybe maybe they're not getting activity not because there's no one there but is maybe it's whatever it is is thinking I not, not again yeah yeah, absolutely agree with you. It's absolutely like yourself when you get a kid asks the same question over and over again. Yeah, yeah. What's that? What's that, Mum? What's that? What's that? Uh, What's I, that? I, I don't know. But I, it's, you uh, must get it on the ghost tours, Richard. You must get one question. Yeah. Do you? Sorry? What? So you must have one question that really rouses you that you get asked all the time on the ghost tours. Good question, that. Good point. Um <laughs> The other question I get, of course, is have you ever seen a ghost? <laughs> really? <laughs> that's, wow. that's the thing I get more than anything. Yes, I have. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's probably the question there. Oh, I don't, I don't think, I'm trying to think of anything that actually riles me, that, you know, gets on my nerves and things. Yeah. No, no, no. To be honest, I mean, I get an awful lot of people with open minds that are, yeah. you know, that are prepared to be convinced Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what I try and do. Me, uh, me and AJ were discussing this the other uh, last week because when we come on, the, when we do the podcast, we normally start with you know, so how did you get into the paranormal? Which is which is a boring question to start with, but when someone comes on like yourself, you can't you can't say you know, oh, I seen that investigation last week, and then. You know, I met you two years ago, and then near the end of the podcast, go, oh, so how did you get in this, by the way? It's a question that, as boring as it is, you've got to start with it, really. Oh, I agree you? with you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and and it is something that people want to know as, yeah. as well, yeah. as to how, yeah, because there are different ways. You know, some people have got into it. Of course, how many people have got into it because of Most Haunted? I cannot yeah. imagine. Loads. And, and yeah. that's the thing that I... I What's the word? I th thank them for, or whatever, because that single program has created more argument, more debate, more discussion, and more yeah. research than mm -hmm. any ghost program ever has, and set the scene for most ghost programs that are still going, still going now. Yeah. Um, yeah. For the right reason, the wrong reason, it doesn't matter, because it's created an incredible awareness of the paranormal. Absolutely. And, and, yeah. Most most huge discoveries on the planet have been made by amateurs. You're right. So you You're don't right. know one day what, because people have watched. You see, OK, we've got so many paranormal groups running around playing at Most Haunted, trying to be Most Haunted. Um, but who knows what they may discover one day. Right. Yeah. Exactly. They may have something groundbreaking. Yeah. Especially if they deal with it in the right way, with respect. You're right. Yeah. Um, You're right. Then who knows? Oh. Who knows? R Richard, I wanted to ask you this question. Um, yes. The question I was going to ask was, okay, so our energy, right? You know, we talk about how, you know, God is this a divine energy and all this yep. type of stuff. But the thing is, like, I truly believe that our energy is so powerful that we have the...
capacity, just like quantum physics says, you know, positive attracts positive, negative attracts negative. I believe that with our consciousness and stuff, I believe we have the ability to create these certain things with our energy. So like what I mean is um, bringing in the intent of what we're about to do. Say if you're going to use a Ouija board and you have the intent to try to, in, uh, in, uh, you know, contact something negative. Um, you're going to get that negative outcome most likely towards it. Or if you try to attract something positive in a, during a ghost and spirit communication, I believe that we can create these type of things. That I, I obviously agree with you. We, you know, so, I mean, I, I was going to ask you, what do you believe in that in, by chance? Oh, I, I'm so, I mean, I, I, I um, believe that we are not that far from Star Wars and using yeah. force. Um, yeah, yeah. I think we totally underestimate the... Um, the ability, the power of the human, not of the human brain, but of the human mind. Yes. I, and I, I believe that, I mean, for instance, poltergeist activity. Um, I believe that most poltergeist activity is uh, back to energy again and created by you, either by yep. pre prepubescent children that have got so much going on in there that they, they, they hate the parents. They hate everything. They can't understand what's happening in their own mind, in their own body. And that they're, 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 they're so, and they're angry. And the energy that comes from them is, is I think we are mentally capable of moving things. I do too. Because um, our thoughts yeah. have frequencies and frequencies exactly. have weight. Absolutely. And that means we are mentally, mentally capable of moving things in the same way as, not quite the same, but but light has weight. Well, it doesn't actually have weight, but it when light hits mass, it causes the mass to move. Uh, and that's Ooh. why uh, space shuttles have light sails on them because light can cause them to move. And and that's but it's light isn't physical, but right. but it can do it. And our thoughts can do the same thing. And so yeah. we can not only can we move things, but we can influence. I truly things. believe that. Is and there's no doubt in my, and I'm, that's why I'm not a hundred percent sure about a Ouija board, a table, a glass, uh, yeah. or whatever. Is it? Is it your dead granddad up there that's coming down through your mind, your mind, your mind, your mind, down your arm, through your fingers, onto the table, and making it move? Or yeah. is it the nervous energy from you yes. that's moving it? Same or thing collectively, with the... collectively you? Because personally, I've never seen a Ouija board move with only one person on it. Yeah, exactly. True. Or a table, or a glass. You need. I've seen. One, I've you seen need it the once. energy. Have you? It looked, oh, yeah, I've seen it once, but it looked fake. It looked like the, mentally they were just moving it. That's what yeah, I. Yeah, think. That's what that. I thought. I wasn't the person. But in reality, you know, you when there's two or more people, obviously you can think more. You get more energy. Yeah, energy. More energy. Back to this word, you see, energy. Yeah, energy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely agree with you. So we can influence. Um, I mean, there are I'm not sure what, but there are animals out there that can right actually there. mentally stun yeah. their prey wow. and cause it yeah. cause it to freeze. Yeah. And then they get it, but mm -hmm. but, but it's, it's it's not it's not the roar of the tiger that does it. It's it's God knows how mentally capable of doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean God Almighty, you know that we don't know enough about what's going on. Sorry, no. I, I'm pointing at that. Oh, That's wrong. Oh, no, it's no. the whole of it. It's your mind. I say it theory that the brain is actually the hard drive. Yeah, is, is that right? Do you, do you think it's the same lines, Richard, where if you're walking across the road and a car comes along yeah. and, and beats its horn or whatever, and instead of automatically running, you freeze and then the yeah. car hits you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Because Although, normally yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're walking across the road, you, a car comes around the corner at, you know, yeah, yeah. whatever ridiculous speeds. And you think, right, you take your heels and you run to the other side of the road. But sometimes people just freeze. Yeah, 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 yeah they do. Sim similar situation. Only the difference there, I think, possibly is that it's a sound. Whereas the the animal that does it actually 
It doesn't make a sound. It's not the roar yeah. of the tiger that causes you to freeze. It's so. I'm not saying it is a tiger that does this. I'm, I can't remember what animals it is, but some animals can mentally freeze their their prey for seconds yeah. while they're pouncing. I'm come on, and, and there's so much more, so much more to that side of things um, than any of us realise. Um, we are mentally capable of of actually. And sending images to loved ones yeah. while we're still alive. Yeah. Called, called crisis apparitions. Oh, come on. There's so much. I tell you, we, 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 you know, nobody realizes the potential of a really good TV documentary. No. I, I, something that definitely... we're, 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 we're definitely up for this debate, Richard. Get it yeah. going and we're up for it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think it could be quite something. And we may learn more from it. That's what I mean. Oh, Which have... is what it's all about. Yes, that's we how we have to learn is by yeah. this, you know? and yeah. people can't get offended by opinion. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, we don't truly, truly, one hundred percent know. But the thing is, it's like, why don't we discuss it? Because it can open up new possibilities for our research. Why, why indeed? Yeah, that's yeah, and we don't because because we're all too busy running around screaming. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. Right. They, they, don't don't they do. They want to be scared. Yeah. And, and that's than... fine, and that's commercial, that's fine. But don't get me wrong, mm. there are groups, of course, there are lots of, I'm, I'm not criticising, there are lots of paranormal groups out there that, that A, don't do it for a profit, don't do it commercially, yeah. that are genuinely, genuinely out there trying to find more out, you know, uh, to, uh, to prove what it's all about. To prove it, isn't it? Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. There are. But, uh, Richard, yeah. do you think we'll ever will? Sorry, do you think we'll ever <laughs> prove? Yeah, do you think we ever will? Um, Not saying millions of years. I'm just saying in the next, say, 10, 20 years, do you think we may? I think the only way that it'll ever be proven is if all of our ancestors can come back yeah. <laughs> and be around us. Whether a bit like the Day of the Dead in Mexico and things like that, which, is, again, they believe that. You know, yeah. I, I, but, but other than that, I'm not so sure. Because, for instance, if, if just supposing... Just supposing I go down to Derby Jail tomorrow night and I capture, I actually capture a ghost. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I get it in a bottle. I actually <laughs> managed to do it in a bottle and it's in what? there trying to let me out, let me out. Yeah. And, and I said, look at this, there is a real ghost in there. Oh my God, yeah. Okay. Uh, and so the only way I'm going to prove that it's real is by, um, I'll rent, rent the Albert Hall in London, which has about 6,000 people in it, right? And I'm going to actually unleash it live, live to the world <laughs> yep. on the stage on the Albert on the Albert Hall with, <clears throat> with a live audience, live audience of 6,000 people. And so out, <laughs> I pull the cork out of the bottle <laughs> and out comes the ghost, just like a genie. And, it's, and everyone's going, oh my God, people get up and run. And people stand, people want to know more. They can see through it. They can, I, I put my hands through it and, and, and and they say, how about a pig? And I said, right, now look, that's not enough. That's not enough. Because basically everyone at home yeah. on people was saying, ah, it's done that. It's done my mirrors. That's done that. It's a hologram. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. pre-recorded. It's this, it's that. Anything but the truth. I said, right, well, I'm going to get all 6,000 people to come up onto stage and meet the ghost mm -hmm. and talk to the ghost and put your hand through the ghost and, do, and ask it questions. Anything, and so people come up to the state, and and someone says, and the ghost. Oh, do you know what? I was with your mother last night. I I remember she was actually killed by a number thirty-seven bus <laughs> on Waterloo Road in London yeah. in nineteen forty-eight. Um, she hadn't got any stockings on because of the blah 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 because of the war was still on, and she got a basket with two apples, three oranges, and a, and yeah. oh my god, this is absolutely right, and and it has a message for. Nearly all of the 6,000 people on the stage who right. said, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. And everyone at home would say, they were all paid to say that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You, yeah. You're never going to win. No. No, no, no I don't think you are. No, <laughs> you're never. Honest, it? I don't <clears throat> think, unless all of our ancestors come back to everybody all the time. Yeah. When they feel yeah. like it. Yeah. And then it just becomes the norm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then they'll be out of the job. Question, why don't they? <laughs> and there's a question, of, why don't they? Or why don't our loved ones always just show up if they can manifest? How come they do not? And I ask, how my, come they don't? You know, and I, and I, I ask this constantly, you know. And I, I mean, I don't I, know. 
I, my father passed away in 2020 and, and he constantly comes through and says his full name through, through the spirit box. <laughs> and it's, it's really fascinating. And, yeah. um, but the thing is, I always ask him, well, why won't you manifest in front of me? Why won't yeah, you and physically? And he goes, why don't other he, goes I just, he just, he goes, I won't, it's not going to make a difference. You know what I mean? And I I'm know, not, I know, I know, I you know, but you know, but it's like, I get it. You know, why don't they though? And then it goes back to that thing where is it us manipulating the environment, you know, yeah. with that yeah. energy, but yeah. again, where the energy yeah. goes was in that yeah person, exactly so. and, and of course people will then say oh well of course they're not allowed to why yeah. who says they're not yeah who, who says, says they're not who goes oh, back to god again is it exactly. he won't let them yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. The, not the church won't allow it no no that that's right yeah. <laughs> god. i don't know i don't know and 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 i want to say you're right some do come back and i have had uh i have had, had visits by what i believe to be people who have recently passed away that were family of mine um, something recently happened uh, that I saw my grandmother full bodied. I mean, she was talking to mm -hmm. me, I heard her voice and everything. But the thing is, though, is that even when we have those experiences, it's still, at least to me, I don't know for everybody, but to me, it's like I always want more. It's never enough. And yep. unfortunately, I feel like no matter what we give to this community of paranormal, I feel like it will never be enough. That's right. That's yeah. so true. And, but do not find as well, do not find as well that when that happens, because of everything that goes on, and because of all these things that people say, you'll see that. Yeah. But then a while later, you'll think to yourself, well, did I actually see it? You'll oh, start yeah. doubting yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I doubt every experience that I've had. Yeah me, too. yeah, me too. I doubt it. But yeah. I, You're right. I mean, I think you have to, if you really are, 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 if you really are true to the research and you really are true to this field, I think you have to kind of doubt it, though, too, you know? Yeah, yeah. But absolutely. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're absolutely right, Richard. Yeah. I totally agree. But this is something I'm so happy that we're having this conversation about because not a lot of people will. And a lot of people feel like, oh, well, you're just attacking others or attacking religion. And it's not that case because I have a, I have a spiritual or religious background in Christianity. Yeah. But the thing is, I'm willing to discuss and say that, you know what, just because someone else said that this is the real true God, I am not going to sit here and mm. just say that because I know and there's so much more to life than just thinking that way you know there's energy yeah, yeah. stuff that we know scientifically <clears throat> that we put to it so i totally agree that i'm so happy we're having this conversation yeah. Richard, so thank but you. the funny thing is they attack us exactly you're right <laughs> both the church and science <laughs> church and science you're right you're absolutely right and it's sad that we can't all come to an agreement or work together but i'm hoping yeah, that for the I'm common hoping... good of mankind exactly yes exactly wow yet they believe in god yes mm. yeah. it doesn't wow exist. Come on. Amazing. Absolutely. Well, Richard, I wanted to ask you since we got immediately into the history stuff and we broke <laughs> off into debate, what what got you into the whole paranormal thing before you got with um, you know, before you first got into it? Because I know it, you I, have... I'll be honest with you, it was purely and simply uh becoming chairman of Derby Tourism and realizing realizing that I needed to find some way of getting people to come to the city of Derby. And I thought, well, the ghost, because be honest with you, although I was, I've been frightened of ghosts all my life. Yeah. For no reason. For no reason. Sorry. But no, I mean, I never saw a ghost. Nothing happened to me at all till I was 27. Nothing. Uh, so it, nothing scared me other than kids that used to tell me ghost stories when I was very young. They were older than me. Uh, and they used to tell, and it terrified me. I was obviously very impressionable. And so I had a fear of ghosts, but not an interest in ghosts. Uh, and it really started with me researching to get this ghost walk right, to believe in it. And that's how it started, purely yeah. and simply by realising that this ghost walk, I, I, the first one I did was rubbish because it was silly stories that I didn't believe in. So I needed to, I needed to believe in what I was talking about. Yeah, you're right. And that's why I'm still to this day, 30 years on, still doing the same thing, having to believe in what I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm. Can I just say one thing there before we go any mm. further? Carl Hodgson put a I got a comment up now. The best place he's ever been for a ghost investigation was Libham Hall. That's where we are. Really? Well, I'll be damned. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Carl, you know, uh, Richard, have you ever uh, uh, been there? Uh, Hall? No. Lytham, no. No, no. No, never been. Lytham St. Anne's, is that? Or? It is, yeah. 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 No, never <clears> been. <throat> Put it on the list. Well, you know where you got to come to. Put it on the list. <laughs> I know. Right? That's it. That's it. Put it on your list right after Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. 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 There you go. We're yeah. trying to get you to get coming to the I'm going to have a word with Charles and see what we can do about coming over because uh, 
the potential could be, you know, uh, could be good. Because I do, I do a, I do a show. I do all sorts of stuff. I do a show called Psychic and Science, a three-hour oh. stage show, uh, oh, so where I uh, yeah. interact. The public, the audience, interacts on the stage. Everything from uh, oh, that is um, glass divination, um, table tilting, the, the whole works. And I, I bring the audience on. It, it, it helps if it's a haunted theatre or the, haunted place. But uh, yeah, I do all sorts of stuff. I, I, I sing for my supper, literally. I love it. Hey, I like it. I think it's great. I think that's a great thing to do too. You know, get people involved. Let them have yeah. their experience. You know. And yeah, I do. The other thing I do is a, a, a dinner called Dining with the Dead. I love. <laughs> Which is a four or five course meal with ghost stories in between. Uh-huh. I love well, that. That goes to treats as well. Tell me, yeah. Right, oh, tell everyone things. watching, Richard, how they can get involved in one of these things that you do hold. Like, where can they find the information? Yeah, yeah. Oh. richardfelix.co.uk. Richardfelix.co.uk. Uh, and my email if I, is richardfelix at gmx.com. Richardfelix at gmx.com. But all my DVDs, my books, everything is on richardfelix.co.uk. Awesome, bro. Thank you so all much. All the ghost walks, my tours, where I'm going, what I'm doing, uh, and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, Richard, we have a we have a question for you from Dan yes. Wellman. It says, Richard, do you believe a ghost can drag you out of bed? No. Nope. If not, why, nope. why don't nope. you? I don't. <laughs> why don't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. If someone tells me that they had a, if, they, if it happened to them, who am I to say it didn't? Yes. And I can't, yeah. But personally... What, when I, he said, I, I, if I you don't, don't, he goes, if you don't, why don't you? Why don't? Because number one, is this, is it, oh, it's, it's got the energy. I'm, I'm not an expert, guys. You know, like, the it's next got thing, I'm somebody's saying, energy. How, can a, how can a ghost talk? It hasn't got a voice box. Yeah. yeah well, it's got the energy. Um, it hasn't got fingers. Or, yeah, energy, yeah. But why would it want to drag anybody out of bed? Yeah. <laughs> really? I'm not funny. Why would anybody? <laughs> uh, be, uh, but if someone has been, then you know, I don't know, some form, some energy force for has it's done that. What be it in inner energy? Yeah, I don't know, but uh, it, was it a ghost? And if it was, why would that ghost want to drag you out of bed? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. What what, what have you done to be dragged out dragged out of bed? Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, who did you piss off? <laughs> yeah, it's too wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, I you know, I same, you, you see, I, I'm the same with scratches and things like that, you see. Um, yeah. You know, get, a ghost hasn't got fingernails. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> right. You know, the thing is, see, I, I've actually, I've had that happen to me, and it's weird because when it happens, it's like, I don't feel, fingernails, I feel that it's more like an energy um, yeah, like energy, yeah, back to the energy you know, thing, you see, yeah. Yeah, you know, I really yeah, do. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, not sure. Like, I'm a skeptic as well, you know, but uh, <laughs> I tell it as it is. <laughs> Snap. My tea is nearly ready, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, so is mine. So Dan says, Dan says, Richard, in, in the case of the Anfield Poltergeist in the lounge of the 16 members from the Society of Paranormal Research at the same time, where a lot of objects were thrown around among other witnesses on different yep. occasions, even a police officer has witnessed. Do you believe there was an evil ghost there, or another reason? What What do you think was there, Richard? I don't think there was an evil ghost there. But then again, I have said, you know, now I think some there's some form of energy that did it. Uh, but you see that there was two prepubescent girls uh, in the Enfield poltergeist, I believe. Yeah. And again, I just believe it's it's back to uh, an energy thing that happened um uh the first question i always ask with obviously they were witnesses uh, but but i always ask you know uh when they talk about poltergeist activity the first question i say is was it a council house why what's that got to do with it well one of the easiest way because the council won't give you a, you you don't like the neighbors uh and you want an exchange but the <laughs> council won't let you move so invent a poltergeist <laughs> an evil poltergeist that's terrifying the kids. It gets on the in the newspaper and then it gets on the local news on TV. And before you know it, the council feels they are duty bound to move you to another property. Yeah. And that happens a lot. You know, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then the other then one. Then that house gets labeled or something that it doesn't even have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then the other one I always ask is are there any pupilescent children in the house? Absolutely. Because and the energy from them can cause things to move. Or yeah. 
people that have got mental problems. Yes. That that can mm. you know energy. Yes, I totally energy, believe that. Energy, energy. Yeah, I totally believe that. My father had a form of schizophrenia, and, and even though he was totally able to work, he was a great guy, a big dude. I mean, he was a strong dude. I mean, but he would literally, we'd be sitting in the, in the living room, and he would just look to the left. And I, but what's going on? He'd be like, you didn't just see that man in the top hat with the suit that just walked through the kitchen or the dog that's sitting next to me barking? I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? Yeah. You know, we're yeah. pizza, chill, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but I wanted to say to Dan, I want to say, he said, I hope you don't mind all the questions. Think your work is fantastic, Richard. Learned more from you than I ever did at school. And Dan, you have right. nothing to worry about. On this, on, this, uh, on this podcast, we want people to ask questions. We want people to get involved. So yeah, one yeah. question. Interact all you can. Exactly. One, pe one thing he did ask right before that was he said, um, Richard, he said, what did you think about your regression that you had a while back? Did you believe in it? What did you think of that regression? Oh, I've done too, and I, I mind fascinating. Uh, um... <laughs> And I, I think there's a possibility that there is something in it because I believe that um, we actually, oh dear, that there are different degrees that we can we can progress on to. And I believe it's a little bit like not passing your driving test first time. You have to resit it. So yeah. I think sometimes, you know, that's why there are people that have got absolutely no past lives that seem to come through because they actually passed to the next level. And there are others who didn't pass to the next level and have to come back again. So there might be somebody with three or five past lives because that energy that goes somewhere has to go somewhere. Does yeah. it sometimes come back and occupy? And I, I don't believe in the same thing that Hindus believe in, like, like a, um, a production line or a newborn baby, dead person's soul. Newborn baby, dead person's soul. I don't believe in that, but I believe yeah. that we, we sometimes have to come back again because we're not ready for the next level. Absolutely. Where that, where that level is and whether <clears throat> you do really play golf at one of the levels or, or yeah. the pub, I don't know. <laughs> right, right. Hey, I hope so, right? I've got one more question. Okay. I've got one more question for Richard before I uh, we'll go but uh, when people say this is this is another oh. one that gets me. Yes. That something happens in a in a building, a haunted building. Yes. And they say, "Oh, someone's opened the portal." Oh. Yeah. Do you believe in Do you yes. believe in that kind? Of yes, I think there is a possibility. Yeah, because it. Yeah, because again, they've got to come from somewhere. <laughs> like, um, True. And there may be there may be uh, energy portal energy yeah i mean it, it's a little bit similar to uh, back to this all i keep going about is energy of course is is that a prehistoric man used to build stone circles on energy sites he knew more than we realized uh about energy and stone and that yeah and um the, the chinese erect um pagodas are on mm -hmm. energy sites in the ground and the same way as they stick needles in energy points on people's bodies it's the same sort of thing um, yeah, so yes yes i think um highly likely that portals could well be energy sites that that somehow a, a call it what you will a spirit soul or whatever can 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 come through yeah yeah it's a possibility absolutely. but again i think it's more of an energy thing again <clears throat> yeah I think. I think that's a great i think that's a great great way to look at it too like mm. i said you know we go back to the it's you know always energy thing all the time because really that's like i said like you said and what i what we all said you know we are down to the cellular level energy i mean we don't know how it works we know what type no, of energy yeah. all the time you know we're able to affect things uh, electronically and stuff so we know that it is energy and we know that we are energy mm. which i find great I do have uh, two things. Uh, one question yes. um, that I have for Gina. She said, looking forward to my lone vigil tomorrow in the Derby. Uh, I know. I know. Gina is actually uh, spending 13 hours alone in Derby. Well, will she be alone? Because we know full well that normally, yeah. Uh, she's, and she's actually raising cash for... for to keep Derby Jail going, to be quite honest with you, because it, it, we have awesome. lots, of, lots of different expense. Um, and she's actually trying to raise money uh, tomorrow night by spending 13 hours alone in Derby Jail. Uh, we do have a right. sort of slightly aggressive, funnily enough, jailer 
who ran the place that that um, when I say aggressive, yeah, aggressive, not evil, aggressive, um, that still thinks he runs the place. And yeah. um, it'd be going to be an interesting night. Um, and she, she's basically, if you if you want to donate to her, if you go to Gina Sugden's uh, Facebook page, uh, she has a way of uh, it's called just just giving. I think um, yeah. she's already raised some cash for me. She does a fantastic job for me, actually. Uh, and well, yeah, it, God forbid, she's uh, thirteen hours alone in Derby Jail. I wouldn't do it. I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no do. way, Jose. Christine well, would do it. No, Christine yeah. wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> No. Uh, Lisa I asked me, and I it. also asked you this question, Richard. She says, do you yeah. watch American TV shows such as Ghost Avengers, and what do you think of them? And yes, I do watch um, all the American TV shows. Some I do like, some I don't like. Um, like, for example, I've been a huge fan of Ghost Avengers since the beginning, but what people need to understand about the entertainment industry, like me, Richard, and everyone's been talking about, it's 50% entertainment, 50% real investigating. Yes, Ghost Adventures, I have, have had people that worked with Travel Channel that have worked with them. Um, and yes, they do do their own investigation. But you have to understand, in entertainment, they have to produce something. So right. even if even if they don't feel something, I'm sorry. But yes, sometimes they have to they have to do it. Now, when you're in this field for as long as Richard has been, for some of these guys that do do these shows, they are probably a little sensitive to this energy. Or they may have some type of sensitiveness to it. So you can't discount that. But in the same time, when it comes to entertainment, you have to understand it's 50% this and 50% this. So, you know, I mean, you have to take it with a grain of salt, like what Richard has been saying. Yeah. But to see people who aren't in entertainment, right, Richard, that are doing this for yeah. the right reason, yeah. you'll yeah. know what is what is real. Yeah. So. But I like what you've just said about after a period of time, a sensitivity to it. Because I yeah. always say, I'm not mediumistic, I'm not psychic, I'm not asensitive. Same, but I exactly. believe I have become sensitive to the subject. Absolutely. And I respect them, and I believe that they respect me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Which is I think what it's all about. To back to, to finish yeah. on the word respect. It's back to respect, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It's all about Richard. Respect. One more question. Go on. <laughs> I can smell will the curry. Please, will you please... <laughs> Come on here again sometime. Of course I will. Only two, please. Let's mm -hmm. do another hour and a half. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. Brilliant. I've been doing long. I don't, don't know what you have planned. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything. Anytime you like. Get in touch Thank with me. Excellent. AJ, awesome. AJ and Christine will add you on Facebook as well. Not a problem. <laughs> and then they can... Uh, yeah, and Richard, I wanted to say I wanted to say that uh, I'm going to be in contact with you because if you're going to come to Connecticut to do Paracon, that'd be great. I'd love to see you there. I mean, it's a great to be to in. Me. Yeah, and even though it's supposed to be Derby, but Derby, Connecticut, it would be awesome to see you at, and I'd love to well, see you there. Yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah, let's do actually, it. You know, uh, I would love to have you there, I man. We can so organize awesome. a few events while I'm there to to pay for what I'm doing. You see, to pay for <laughs> my so that. Yeah, let's do it. Please, I mean, if I can help you set something up, please let me know. Also, yeah, please. please. Yes, please. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. I want to thank every single person who's watched. I know Richard is so grateful for the questions. I know I am. Everybody is. So, Richard, anything you want to leave? Can you leave them with uh, some places that they could check out everything like you did before so they can come to your site, help you with oh, yeah, whatever? Yeah, and... Rich, richandfelix.co.uk. The books are on. The DVDs are on. The tours, the places I go, what I'm doing. Uh, all on richandfelix.co.uk. Um, only two please to answer any questions or anything. Yeah, come and talk to me. Richard, yeah. fascinating person, my friend. I'm so happy I got a chance to actually. Been a pleasure. Today. Really it's enjoyed been a it. Pleasure. Humble, my friend, and I thank you so much for the work that you're doing with the ghost tours, with everything. I mean, keep even Gina keeping these places alive is something. That's right. So yeah. Important, yeah. So important, Gina. Thank you for putting that in the um in the comments. Richard's uh Richard stuff. Um, RichardFelix.co.uk. Richard, again, thank you so much. And thank Pleasure. you. Have thank a good you. night, guys. Or a good afternoon. You yeah. too. Yeah. Bye. 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 I'll you. stay in touch. Cheers, thank guys. You. Thank, thank you, Richard. Bye. 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 Oh, that's so cool. I had such, oh, oh, where'd you go? I actually, I actually, Chris <laughs> out. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. My apologies. But oh right. man, I just want to say uh, that was, that was, was amazing. Story. That was a good podcast. That was. Yeah, that was. The thing that I want people nice. to understand. It's a nice blow. The thing that I want people to understand. Is. We're 
we're not cynical. You know, we're not here to like judge people. We're not here to judge religion. We're not here to judge people who believe in what they believe in. The thing is, is that these are conversations, no matter what you believe in, that we kind of have yeah. to have. And if you're in you this field, have you're right. And if you're in this field, you have to, you can't just say every single thing is this. It has to be. Everybody has an opinion. Exactly. You're right. Exactly. Everybody's opinion matters. That's the problem. It's like whether you believe in that opinion or not, it's mm -hmm. still an opinion. It's still somebody's giving them respect. Going back to what yeah. Richard respect is so important. Also, it's Tina a, left yeah. uh, Richard mm -hmm. at MX.com so you can contact him if you need to. And uh, Gina, thank you so much. We enjoyed your company and everyone else's company. Um, please come and check us out. Talking with the source on Facebook. We have multiple people come on. We've had Ted yeah. Nick on. Gina, sorry, AJ. Gina yeah, added right. me today because she works along with Richard. And awesome. she added me today because she wanted to share the page out on multiple, I on multiple uh, networks. Thank so, like I say, Gina, you can add AJ as well Please. on Facebook. And then... Please do. And feel free to message us. Ask us whatever. I'm AJ Capasso on uh, Facebook. We've got, excuse me, Robin's, uh, Robin's name. Chris is with him. So please feel free to reach out anytime. Um, you know, you could check out my spirit communication stuff on Coventry Circle Paranormal uh, mm -hmm. YouTube and all the other social medias as well as Robin at Halford Paranormal with Chris. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're just super grateful to be able to talk to these amazing people from Patty Negri. We're going to be having Dave Schrader on soon when his new show drops. Um, we have just a bunch of people, great people like Richard Felix. And these are the conversations that I like to have with everyone. And the most important thing is anyone who comes and watches these podcasts, come get involved. Leave questions in the comments. Mm -hmm. And like I said, like the paranormal, go and visit Parapost Network Central on Facebook. It has a bunch of paranormal podcasts live investigations, tarot readings. We have mediums on there. I mean, just literally go and do it. If you have a podcast, reach out to us. We will put you on the, the uh, Parapost Central. Um, so please, Parapost Network. So please reach out. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Chris, thank you for joining us for this one. Oh, I enjoyed it. It was brilliant. Super happy. <laughs> I, wanted, I, I, I absolutely loved it too. I always, I, I'm, I'm so upset though that your voice is a little out of the way because oh, I was waiting cool. to get into it. Void. I want to say stuff that I can't. I know. I heard. <laughs> I, I think it's great. He's loving it. He's loving it. I know. He's loving it. I know. He's loving it. Trying to keep this. He's together. a more little quiet. quiet. Yeah. Oh, I tell you. Whoop his butt, Chris. Whoop his butt. But um, thank you so much, though, Chris, for joining us. I really appreciate it. Like I said, please join us anytime you feel like. Yeah, Come definitely. Um, thank so you. Love you, and thank you so much. Right. And, uh, I'm going to get some tea now. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll feel better. Hey. You're going to get your tea now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Bye. And uh, Robin, thank you so much, brother, for always being a great <laughs> friend. And for everyone who doesn't know, we do have another host. His name is Steve-O Hopkins. He's from Canada. Uh, Robert's out of UK. I'm out of the US and uh, Steve-O's from Canada. Um, he just works a lot. So during the week, we can't normally have him on. We are trying to switch to Sunday so he can be coming on. But he does some amazing spirit communication. So you could visit his stuff at SNK uh, Paranormal um, on YouTube or Steve-O, My Journey Paranormal. And when I tell you um, he gets some incredible um, stuff, it's, it truly is. So go and check them out. Him and his wife do amazing work in this. Um, so, but we thank everyone for watching. Please tune in Absolutely. We're gonna be going on Friday, I believe, or Saturday again. I forget, I just have to check who it is, and we're going to be posting oh, it. Oh, so now, now you're talking. Well, we'll have to put a but the best way to do it is, is for everybody watching to go to talking with the source, uh, and, and basically like the page, join the page, whatever you got to do. Because although we want to try and get the podcast on Sundays. We're, we're having sometimes having like two a week and we've got to do different yeah. days because we've got to tie in with the people that we're actually getting on. So, exactly. yeah, we're, we're accommodating. We like to work with everybody. So um, this will be up, though. You can check out all the older videos. We have Patty Negri, like I said, a bunch of people that we've had on. Other Rick great McCallum. Guys. Yeah, Rick McCallum, um, actor and stuntman, also a great paranormal investigator. Uh, we just recently had him on. So please go there, check it out. Come and join us anytime. Ask any questions. We like to put as many questions as we can that we can get up on the uh, lives. Um, so thank you so much all for joining us. This has been another episode of Talking with the Source. We love and appreciate all of you. And thank you so much for all your guys' comments and, and questions. God bless. See you later. Have a good day.